Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to study static Manchester carry adder. In the previous clip we have already seen that when my inputs A and B both are high, my carry is generated so my generate signal is 1 and the other two signals are zeros. When my A and B alternate my propagate signal is high which means that my C out is equal to C in. In that case my generate and kill signals are zeros. And when both my inputs are zero my carry is getting killed so C out is zero and my generate and propagate signals are also zero when kill is one. Using this concept we are going to draw a Manchester carry adder. The circuit is very very straightforward and very easy to remember as well. Suppose this is my PMOS, this is going to be my NMOS, again my NMOS, this is my crown, this is my VDD and I'll connect another NMOS here and this is going to be my output. Now I'm going to label all the inputs, outputs. This is going to be my PI bar. You can always call it as P bar also. When I'm saying I, I'm going to extend this to different four bit adders. At that point of time, this will be called, if this is the first adder, it will be called P1 bar. For the second adder, it will be called P2 bar. So I'm using a suffix I. So this is PI bar. This is GI. The PMOS transistor also has an input GI. And this NMOS pass transistor also has an input PI. So this is PI, this input. The input which is going to this pass transistor is nothing but CI bar and the output is going to be CI plus 1 bar. Don't get confused with the suffixes. If it's 1 that this is C1 and the C out will be called C2. It just means that. But remember it's not direct C1 and C2, it's bar. And let's name or let's label all the transistors as well. So we will call this transistor as M1, this as M2, this as M3 and this as M4. So I have labeled all my transistors as well here. And with this we are all set to start. What you need to remember from here is there is a PMOS which has an input which is nothing but a generate signal. There are two NMOSs in the pull down network. One has a generate signal as its input and the other one has the input PI bar. And there is another pass transistor which also has an input PI. Let's get started with the case, different, different cases and see whether we are able to achieve the functionality. So let's start with case one. Case one would be when my generate signal is high. When my generate signal is high, we know that my kill and propagate both signals are going to be zero. And we also know that I want my C out to be equal to 1. So let's see if the circuit gives us that or not. So when GI is equal to 1, that means PI is 0. PI bar will also be equal to 1. That clearly shows that M4 and M3 both are going to be off. Whereas M2 and M1 both would be on. And because both of them are on, it will try to pull my output towards ground so ci plus 1 bar will be equal to 0 that means ci plus 1 is equal to 1 because this is bar so the bar inversion 0 will be equal to 1 and what we got is nothing but my c out to be equal to 1 which is what we were expecting so the functionality is achieved when the generate signal is 1 Let's go ahead and see case 2. Case 2 is going to be when my kill signal is 1. At the same time, my generate and propagate both would be equal to 0. Let's quickly see this. Before we go ahead, what do we want our C out to be? When my kill is high, I want my C out to be 0. If you see properly, there is no kill signal given here, but still the functionality would be achieved because of the generate and the propagate signals. Let's see how it happens. So GI is 0, that means this is 0. This is also 0. PI is also 0, so PI bar is 1. Now if you see in the pull down network, one transistor is on, the other transistor is off. So technically the pull down part is broken because there are two series transistors. At the same time, if you see, M3 is also off because it's an NMOS and it's getting an input 0. So M3 and M2 both are off. M1 is on but still there is no part to ground. 
because there are two transistors in series in the pull down network. If you observe carefully, GI is 0 which is given to this PMOS so M4 is on and what it will do is it will try to pull its output towards VDD. So CI plus 1 bar would be equal to VDD which means that CI plus 1 is equal to 0 which is nothing but C out equal to 0 which is exactly what we were looking for. So again the functionality is achieved. Okay let's go to case 3. Case 3 is the one which is very interesting. My propagate signal is 1 that means my generate is 0 and my kill is 0. In this case we want our C out to be equal to C in. Let's first take a case where my C in would be equal to 0 and see what's happening. So when my C in is equal to 0 my C in bar would be equal to 1 and let's put all these values so propagate signal is 1 generate is 0 propagate bar would also be 0 and generate is 0 so this is 0 so this clearly shows that this both transistors are off M1 and M2 both are off so there is no part to pull down for my circuit now if you see here my M4 transistor is on and my M3 transistor is also on both of them are on so let's see what's happening when C in is equal to 0 I'm redrawing the circuit here so this is my M4 and this is my M3 both of them are on I'm now removing the labels of the inputs I'm just saying that both of them are on one of them is a PMOS other one is an NMOS this is my output this is VDD and because CI bar is equal to 1 this is also equal to VDD if you observe it carefully this is nothing but a transmission gate in its on state let's draw this transistor in transmission gate fashion let's translate this to that so this is my M3 with its NMOS which is on VDD and this point again VDD and this point so they are in parallel so this is my PMOS which is on the input is nothing but VDD because both of them have VDD as the inputs correct so what is going to be my output here guys transmission gate will pass whatever is there at its input so CI plus 1 bar is equal to VDD which tells me that CI plus 1 will be equal to 0 when scene is equal to 0 you want your output to be equal to 0 which is achieved so again the functionality is achieved the last case is the most interesting case let's quickly do that as well when scene is equal to 1 that means CI bar would be equal to 0 so again M3 and M4 are on the other two would be off because that conditions are not changing so we will draw the circuit this is on this PMOS is also on now this is VDD and this is nothing but ground and this is my CI plus 1 bar this is nothing but a simple example of pseudo inverter I am redrawing the circuit here in pseudo inverter this is my PMOS which is always on in this case this PMOS is this PMOS M4 and this is my input A which again is 1 correct when I say zero inverter I am only saying it because I am presuming that this M3 transistor is on so this is M3 what will be my V out if A is 1 that means M3 is on at the same time M4 is on and we discussed this when we discussed zero and MOS inverter that M4 will try to pull its output towards VDD whereas M3 will try to pull its output towards ground and when A is equal to 1 we want our output to be equal to 0 that means M3 should be made stronger than M4 here also if you see this point is being pulled by M4 towards VDD where the same point is pulled by M3 towards ground but what do we want CI plus 1 bar equal to we will want CI plus 1 equal to 1 so CI plus 1 bar should go to 0 that clearly says that M3 transistor should be stronger than M4 so you need to size your transistors sizing means W by L of M3 should be greater than W by L of M4 if you try to achieve this then you will clearly in this case because M3 is stronger it will try to pull its output towards ground and that is nothing but CI plus 1 bar will be equal to 0 which also means that CI plus 1 will be equal to 1 this is exactly what we were looking for so we saw that 
all the three cases are satisfied by Manchester carry adder with a very simple straight diagram of four transistors and giving it the input as simple as generate and propagate signals. In the next script, we will see a dynamic Manchester carry adder which is exactly the same circuit and no additional circuits are added in that. So we'll see that and we'll go ahead and make a 4-bit dynamic Manchester carry adder as well. Hope you have followed. Stay tuned. Thank you and take care.